ClickDork back again. Hey, I've got this great application finished. I've been spending like like weeks working on this thing. I've got it done. I'm ready to get this thing released to people. And all I need to do now is like just manually refresh this data like on you know, like a daily basis so that people can see new stuff. That shouldn't be too cumbersome to me. Except when I go on vacations. That's not a good thing. Nah, I'm just teasing. You don't have to worry about that. Once you've got your applications built, you need to get these things published, right? You need to do these tasks that are scheduled. We provide a scheduling engine that you can use. So I'm going to go out to my tasks and I say, hey, I want to create a new task. And I'm going to call this, hey, reload the data for my awesome application. And of course, you might use something, you know, a little bit more... Uh, appropriate for what you're going to do. I pick the application that I want to reload. I'm going to pick my population health application. And I can do things like ah, I can ah, I want to create a task, but I don't want to enable it yet. I want to check it out or of course I want to re-enable it. Hey, how long should I let this thing run in terms of minutes? Like should I let it run for a whole day or do I want that thing to to just stop. If it takes more than 30 minutes, it means I've got a runaway process. I want it to stop then. And so you can configure how it runs. Hey, there are times, perhaps, when I'm reading data and I know that knucklehead Bob, the account temp, um, locks a file. Um, and so maybe I need to be able to retry this thing. I don't want it to just completely fail. If it fails, hey, try it again. Um, or I can just say, hey, run the thing once. If it fails, it fails. And then I can create some triggers here. When, when do I want to run this? Hey, I only want to run this once. I want it to run it tomorrow or I want it to run now. And I don't want it to, re out and don't want it to run again. Or I can create something like a new hourly trigger. <coughs> and I can set this up and I can call this what it is that I want. And maybe I want to run it each hour or wait, nah, you know what? Maybe I want to run this like literally every minute. Maybe this is an incremental load task and I can run this thing all the time. Um, maybe I want to run it daily. Maybe I want to run it weekly on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Nah, maybe I want to run this Mondays on each Sunday of the month. And so I can set that up. Maybe I only want to run this for a year and have this thing stop. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to run a timed based thing. And that time base could be anything I wanted it to be. Oh, nah, maybe that's not what I want at all. Maybe I want to delete this. I don't want this at all. I want to, I want to delete that one. And I want to create instead a task based one. And so I'm going to call this when the other thing finishes because for this what i want it to do is i want to run it when another task either fails or is in this case successful and i can pick another task okay every time this task is successful i want you to go run this one of the things i talk about often um, with with customers potential customers like you is layering of QVD files. So I want to go reload the financial data. I want to go reload the operational data. I want to go reload clinical data. And when those tasks are finished, then I want to run. And so I can set this up to run when some other task finishes as opposed to a time. I don't want to say, okay, well, the other task starts at three o'clock. Um, it usually takes about 14 minutes. So start this at 3.30. I want these tasks to run back to back to back. Um, so in terms of scheduling data, you can kind of set it and forget it. If you want time-based, you can use time-based. If you want these things to be in relation to something else, you can use it in, in terms to something else. And again, as always, ClickSense is an open API. Guess what's really happening here? Come on, think hard. It's calling our task API. That stuff can be called through things like EDX, where I'm going to put this into some other scheduling mechanism. I don't even want to use this QMC again. The QMC is one approach to calling our management APIs. Call these things from something else. If you want to 
trigger us reloading from some other application entirely that's part of a bigger system. Hey, I got to get back and build some more applications because now that I'm done with this one, it's time for me to move on. Hope you have a great day.